All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone, who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. All right, another uh, Great Millstone Dallas in class. Uh, today's uh, topic will be the book of Titus, uh, which was our assignment this week. So we're going to go through a few points. Um, very uh, beneficial information uh, to our walk. Um, Titus is, uh, you know, was built up by the Apostle Paul. We're going to go through a few points before we get started, just to uh, give uh, understanding on who, who he was, you know, what he what he did, you know, and uh, ultimately, hopefully, you all can get edification. So uh, we'll have the brother open up with a few points on Titus, and then Lord will will get some edification. Go ahead. Con, this is us some information on Titus on um, gotquestions.org, and it goes into a, I'm going to just read it. It says, Titus was an early church leader, a trusted companion of the Apostle Paul, mm -hmm. and a faithful servant of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Titus was a Gentile, right? which we, we know he was really an right. Israelite right. foreigner. And right. you, you, we're fulfilling that. Right. So we, we, can, we can clearly see... We're like we were raised in Greco-Roman co culture here in Babylon the Great, but we're Israelites who repented and turned back to the Most High. You know, mm -hmm. through the preaching of Yahweh Shai, right. that was being done by the apostles. Come, who was led to faith in Amashiach by Paul, he was drawn to the ministry and became a co-worker with Paul, accompanying him and Barnabas from Antioch to Jerusalem. Titus is included in the other uh, Salakia. Titus is included. And the other believers, quote unquote, Acts 15 and 2, at the Jerusalem Council. Mm. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Titus would have been a prime example of a born again Gentile Christian. Mm -hmm. Titus was living proof. And this that's why you have to understand the book of Maccabees going back to the when when Israel became uncircumcised. You can't Hellenization, right. you know, because these are descendants of those Israelites. Who, who sold out. Right, 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 right. However, they, they had the spirit on them to wake up. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Con. Titus was living proof that the right of circumcision wasn't necessary for salvation. There you go. Mm, yeah, yeah. Right. He was, he was proof. Timothy was proof. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. That, you know, it, 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 you know the, the Gentiles were ultimately brought, brought in contrary to that first covenant, but mm -hmm. through mercy and faith. Now, you should get, you know, if you can get circumcised, but if you don't, that doesn't mean the Heavenly Father ain't gonna, you know, deliver you. Right, that's right, that's right. right. Timothy was baptized by Paul, while Titus was not baptized at all. Right. And he still believed. Right. You know, right. it says later, Titus went to Corinth to serve the church there, in 2 Corinthians 8 and 6 and 16 and um, 17, on Paul's third missionary journey, which took place from 53 AD to 57, Paul arrived to Troas and expected to meet Titus there. Not finding his friend, Paul left for Macedonia. Mm -hmm. Titus rejoined Paul in Philippi and gave him a good report of the ministry in Corinth. You can mm -hmm. read those accounts of 2 Corinthians 7 and 2 Corinthians 13. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians 7, verses 6 through 7 and 13 through 14. When Titus returned to Corinth, he hand delivered the epistle of 2 Corinthians Woo! and organized a collection. For needy saints in Jerusalem. Mm. That's in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 10, verse 17, and verse 24. Right. Can I make a quick point, too? That's it. That, uh, also, I found interesting is that uh, Titus also, um, his surname was Justice. Justice. And when you go to Acts 18, mm -hmm. chapter 1, it tells you how Paul went to a certain Jew's, uh, a certain one's house named Justice. That was at the time. That was too. Titus. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whenever they tried to jump him in Ephesus, right. he, mm -hmm. was in, he was in Titus' group. Okay. Yep. Okay. Several years later, Titus and Paul traveled to the island of Crete. And this is where we get the account in Titus right here, where he had wrote this letter. He had told right. Titus to go into the land of Crete. It right. says several years later, Titus and Paul traveled to the island of Crete, where Titus was left behind to continue and strengthen the work. Mm. Titus's task was, to, was administrative, mostly. He was to maintain sound doctrine, do doctrine and straighten out what was left unfinished and appoint elders in every town. And Artemis and Ty Tychicus arrived in Crete to direct the ministry. Paul summoned Titus to join him in Nicopolis, a city in the province of Achaia in western Greece. 
The last mention of Titus in the Bible indicates that he was with Paul during Paul's final Roman imprisonment. Wow. Mm. From Rome, Titus was sent to evangelize Dalmatia, and that's in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10. Right. An area which later became known as Yugoslavia and is now called Serbia and Montenegro. As a, gen uh, as a Gentile Christian, Titus would have been particularly effective in combating the heresy of the Judaizers. Right, mm. right. And this is why people have a problem with Paul's writings. Right, right. Because it takes away from their, you know, priestly uh, order and their authority within the temple. And it gives power through Yahweh Shai, who sends down the Holy Spirit. Because the Gentiles receive what? The mercies of David. Right. Meaning they weren't judged by their actions, but by, you know, ultimately their intent. Faith. Mm -hmm. All right. They mm -hmm. repented. What did uh, David say? Uh, Sacrifice thou requires not, all right, but a broken spirit, mm -hmm. all right, which is, that's the sacrifice, re repenting, you know, and this is what these Gentiles represented. These are the churches that Paul was setting up, and then particular men were being built up to go and start their own churches, right, right, right. and it's likened to our story uh, uh, all the way. Anything else? Or uh, I mean, we just it, get into it. We might as well get into it. All right. Yeah. All right. So, uh. We just read through until anybody got any points, anything they want to say. Or? All right. I'm good. All right. This is a uh, Titus. All right. Uh, chapter one, verse one, and we'll get through as many points as we can. I mean, it's not a long book, so we probably can get through most of it. But uh, Lord will, you know. It says, "Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach." You heard that? <laughs> right. <laughs> According to the faith of God's elect, which are Israelites. And the acknowledgement of the truth, which is after godliness, in hope of eternal life, which God cannot lie, promised before the world began. <laughs> and the Most High can't lie. That promise was unto the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to rule out of a particular land and set up paradise. Point blank, period. And it hasn't been altered. It hasn't been changed. Okay? That promise is to those. Those are that seed, all right? It says... Bro, if I can make a point... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you. No, you got it. I'm Bro, good. Paul was literally called... As we read here in first verse 1, Paul, the Apostle Paul, was called an apostle according to the faith of the Most High's elect. He was called literally... <laughs> he was called literally an apostle in order to call the elect to the faith right. concerning right. Yahweh Shai. Yep. But Paul's ministry, you know, he was going off, though. It's not the word of God. It's not the word of the Most High. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? You got to go. Just to back you up, you know, uh, this is second, second Timothy chapter one, verse eight. It says, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the Most High. Here's the point in verse nine. Who hath saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose with grace. Mm -hmm. Which was given in, which was given us in Mashiach Yahushua before the world began. So that deals with predestination. That that goes into, you know, the predetermination as far as the timeline of things before anything was started. Right. You know, everything that ends up happening, especially especially in the ministry, um, you know, particularly in the ministry was already before ordained. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. to where it's nothing that we could do right against the Lord's will. Right. Word. Right. I got a quick one. Galatians. Uh, one and eleven, but I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man, mm. for I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right. Wow. Well, he's still letting you know that. Yeah. Look, I got this revelation directly from the Lord himself. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, um, Titus chapter one and three it says, but have in due times manifested his word. Through preaching, which is committed unto me, to the commandment of God, <laughs> our Savior. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, man. <laughs> and see, anyway, it says, to Titus, my own son. All right? And that's another thing they say Paul was going off because you have spiritual fathers in the faith. Right. right, right. Now, Yahweh Shai said, call no man father because those scribes and Pharisees, those wicked ones, was making man Absolutely. call them father and rabbi and this and Absolutely. all of these titles. He was like, don't yeah. don't be like them. Yeah, straight, all right, but straight. but but in the spirit, yes, you we have spiritual fathers, man. That's right. That's straight right. up, who who have guided us 
all right, uh, uh, in the, through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, to repentance, man. That's right. And that must be acknowledged. When you read First John, he said, I've written unto you fathers, mm -hmm. because you have known the truth. That, that's, those are the heads of the churches, man. That's right. That's right. When you read it in Matthew 23, it goes into what those men were doing, and they was going into the, how they were brought in their phylacteries. They was doing all these things right. to present themselves as this mighty, fatherly figure that can right. grant you salvation. Right. When that's not the case. Not the case. That's why I was I said call no man a rabbi, but they called him rabbi at the same time. Mm -hmm. Which shows that it's a lot deeper than just the title of rabbi, but it's the action that showed towards it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. That's what being born again means. If you're being born again through the word that's being preached unto uh, like for example, we were born again through the words that we heard through our apostles and our elders. We were born again. Mm -hmm. So if you're being born again, that's just, it's showing reference to, to the men who taught you, right, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. But you, you know, that's right, why. Right. That's right. <laughs> so to Titus, my own son, after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God, the Father, and Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Savior. For this cause left I thee in Crete. So he left him there to build up that church. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, amongst Crete, you already had niggas, savages, and monsters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Of the circumcision who who was spreading venom, man. Right, right, right. So he's preparing Titus, just like he prepared Timothy. As you go amongst these people, this is what you should do. This is how you should be. Build yourself up. Prepare for this. Don't give heed to these endless genealogies and things these people are going to be talking about. So now we we can start to see how these things playing out right in our face. Right in front. Of us. Right in front of us, man. That word Crete in the Greek is krata. Mm. When, when you go into that word krata in the Latin, it means fleshly. Fleshly, yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. So You're these right. people right. are just, just embedded in their right. flesh. You know Chicken is just embedded right. in their flesh. Right, right, right. Yep. It says, For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou should have set in order the things that are wanting. You see? Build these churches up. Mm -hmm. And that's the purpose. All right? And ordain elders... In every city, as I have appointed thee. <laughs> all, right. all right, so it goes into the qualifications of ministers, all right? Mm -hmm. Heads of churches. It says, if a man, any, if any be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly. For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of God, not self-willed. Not soon angry. You got to be patient. You can't be about, you know, as the as the head or the bishop of a church. You can't be soon angry. You can't show the men around you your emotions all the goddamn time. Right. You got to be very, very calculated in what you say, what you do, because they're watching you. Right. Okay? You can't be self-willed. We all have our, our wants and in, in, in how we handle things, but you, you got to make sure you're not making those things the doctrine. Now, you add your spirit for the purpose of building brothers up, but you sometimes we get into the habit of trying to force our spirit as the doctrine. Right. And as a leader, you can't do that. you got to be very, very mindful. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, not soon angry, not given to wine. You can't just be a drunkard, okay, just stumbling and getting drunk and wilding out in front of brothers, ass crack showing. You're just losing. You know, you, right. you, 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 that's a fucked up example. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, yep. people are looking at you. Yep. All right? So these are things we all, you know, can, can, can build on, man. It says, no striker not given to filthy lucre. <laughs> I looked at that word, no striker, before. Mm -hmm. And it also, is, it necessarily may not necessarily just being into brawling and fighting. But when you go into no striking, it also goes into being uh, opinionated and argumentative about every about everything. everything. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just being contentious mentally when it comes to just right. arguing back and forth. Right. That's what striking also goes into. Mm. Yeah, certain things you see people say on your comment boards, you don't always have to react to it. You know, certain things you may react to to build, you know, oh, I can make a point out of this. But you, every every day, every you don't have to react to everything and be... Cause, it becomes unedifying. Right. You know what I'm saying? It becomes unedifying. Yeah, the precept. Yep. That's cool. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 48. Down to Come. But if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord, delay it is coming. Mind you, he's saying in his heart, meaning in his mind. Mm -hmm. So forward is going to go into his actions that he's going to display among the church. Yeah. Talking about an evil servant. And shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken. 
The Lord that suffers shall come in that day when he looketh not for him, in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And I want to go into that precept because Paul was expounding to Titus in regards to those different characteristics that that bishop should have over those churches. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh shall give a very fair warning how not to be. Mm -hmm. You know, because it says if you're doing those things, that means that there's that lack of faith that's in your heart to the point where you're going to display those actions, which in your heart, you don't think he's going to come soon. He ain't going to judge you for and you can do anything and lord over those sheep when that's not the case. Yahweh Shai gave that fair warning of that in Matthew the 24th chapter. Absolutely. All right. Um, but a lover of hospitality, verse 8, a lover of good men, sober, just. Holy, temperate, balanced, you know, right. holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught. As he hath been, been, mm. been taught. As he hath been taught. You want to say something? Meaning respecting your fathers that taught you in the faith. Mm. Okay. You know, yeah. not disrespecting the fathers who taught you, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because when you go into ancient uh, customs. To be the father of something to me, it just meant you were great at it. Absolutely. Right. So, like, in this time, you would say, Jay Dilla is the father of beats. Straight up. But back then, that was a saying. Just to, he was the, he's the father of this, the father Absolutely. of that. Well, you have fathers who were excellent That's in right. his truth. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I fathered your style. Like, right, yeah, right, you know? right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, call, you, got, you say forefathers. Forefathers, yeah. you know? That's All right, read something real quick. Yep. This is Acts chapter 2, just going into the point. Verse. Uh, I'll read verse 41, but the point is verse 42. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. Mm -hmm. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, the apostles doctrine. and fellowship right. and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Hey, right. It says and fellowship. Mm -hmm. Meaning if you're around these individuals fellowship and you're going to not only learn but you're going to see, by, you're going to learn by seeing example. that example of that fellowship right there. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to be able to see how they conduct themselves and see Right. What Yahweh Shah was talking about. That's right. You know, all that that's, that's right. right. Going into, yep. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, uh, so holding fast the faithful word as he had been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine to both exhort and to co convince the gainsayers. Mm -hmm. Meaning you stay in the spirit. You stay on your course. And eventually, man, a lot, even certain scoffers, man, over the years have came around. Through us just continually preaching. Yeah, you. Mm -hmm. Now, if we just continually tip and got you know let them and let them take us to their level, you know it would it probably. But we stay on our course, man. That's right. All right? That's right. Stay on our course, and eventually, man, whoever's gonna get it's gonna get it. Right. Okay. And here's the point: for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers. They gonna make you mad. Mm -hmm. He's preparing Titus. Look, you gonna be angry. They go pop up. They go always have something to say. And see, now they have computers. See, they didn't have the computers back then. They had to travel, but now these niggas got computers, keyboards, internet connections. Opinions. Like Opinions. Uh, 5G. 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 Nigga had 8 uh, Demon G. Yeah, straight you know, up. Shit straight never up. go out. Shit oh, go, internet yeah. never get the circle. This shit always, it's kind of go right through. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it's just a demon, man. That's right, that's right. So it says there are many vain, it says there are many Unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Mm, mm, mm. Now, what does that mean? Anybody? They know that they're Israelites. They're actual Israelites. They were raised, yep. The natural branches, mm -hmm. yeah. as they call mm -hmm. them, because the wild olive tree started to wake up, That's which right. are the uncultivated branches, the Israelites, mm -hmm. you know, who weren't raised in the customs, but these natural branches who didn't want to follow Yahawashai and, and didn't want to acknowledge his priesthood and way back to the Father. They were, they were just saying any and everything, making up doctrines, and That's just right. like, man, That's what right. are you doing? That's right. We're going to get into that. It That's says, right. for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, Woo. who subvert whole houses, teaching things they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. So you would have men rise up and, and, and use their genealogy to say, I'm this, I'm that, and you have people under them who were sincere, mm -hmm. but they would get caught under this demon. Under that web. Right, under that web. But then the nigga would just c completely use them and abuse them to where a lot of these people left and stopped believing. That happens even in Israel today. Yeah, right, right, right. You got niggas leaving IUIC bugging out. 
Like, like they, they don't even believe in the Bible no more. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this dude, Judah Mack, you know, he's twerking and got his legs spread wide open all on the camera. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Tripping. But who was he under? Yeah, Nate Daniel. I watched two seconds. <laughs> yeah, he, he was under, like that. Like, bro. So these, these we, we're seeing the same exact example right now. So you got to live in these scriptures, man. That's right. That's I got a uh, word for yep. you. That word unruly in the Greek is anu pa, anupatakdos. And that word uh, unruly there in the book of Titus literally means it says that cannot be subjected to control. Mm. You can't tell them that. Ooh. Out of order. Yeah, out of order. You never, they're never wrong. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. Disobedient. Unruly. Refractory. And when that word refractory literally means obstinate, which right. means hard headed. Hard. Right. Like, 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 yeah, like Alazar. He was he left from under the apostles, mm-hmm. got kicked out. Mm-hmm. He went all around doing it. And then he, he, he submitted under H O D C twelve. But even when he got rebuked by them, he was like, Hell no. Yeah, he left. He yeah. left. <laughs> I got some. Go ahead. See right 32 and 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. Amen. Oh, man. Yeah, definitely. Just going into the topic of this guy, uh, Alizar, Alize, whatever his name is, you know. He uh he he finds an excuse uh, uh for every every goddamn thing from the guys that he learned from. According to his will to, right. to feed his own building. He can never be wrong. Right. He can never, never be wrong. Be wrong. Apostle Tahar too old, but uh, 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 HODC 12 head wasn't. <laughs> right. That's a good point. Like you submitted under this guy. Right. And you don't even agree with him on doctrine. That's so you, you're you all over the place. Oh. You're a walking contradiction. But then you're able to use your the, the, these words and high and priest and all of this. And people are looking at you in awe. But you're literally a walking contradiction. These type of men were around back then. They were, they were back in their lot. Back in their lot. Just absolutely unruly, man. Mm-hmm. All right? Badass kids, man. Badass kids. It says, whose mouths must be stopped, okay, who subvert whole houses, okay, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake, okay? And lucre can be money. Mm-hmm. It could be pride, ego, mm-hmm. you know, the worldly advantage, anything. It says, one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, Said the Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. And if you want to break that down. Kind of, kind of. So, you know, um, what the Apostle Paul was going into when he said, uh, when he when he quoted verse 12, he said that uh, one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said the Cretans are also are always liars, uh, evil beasts, and slow bellies. That poet that the Apostle Paul was going into is, is by, uh, the, uh, by the name of Epitomies. Or Epimenides, mm-hmm. if I'm saying it correctly. He was born roughly around, like they say, like 600 BC. Um, and he quoted him. Now, I got some information on this dude. Um, Ep- uh, Epimenides, which, you know, online is one like Edomite, but it was really a jape, you know. It says Epimenides of, of Knossos was a semi mythical 7th or 6th century BC Greek seer and philosopher poet from Knossos or Phaiotos. Now, going down to Cretia, this is on Wikipedia, you can go down to Cretia, which is also known as Crete, right? It says, Epimenides Cretia is quoted twice in the New Testament. Its only source is a 9th century Syriac commentary by Hashodad of Merv of the Acts of the Apostles discovered, discovered, edited, and translated into Greek by Professor Mr. Mr. Harris, whatever. It says in the poem, Minos addressed Zeus thus. Now, here's the poem. It says, They fashioned a tomb for you, holy and high one. Talking about, talking about uh, Zeus. Cretans, or Cretans, always liars, evil beasts, idol bellies. But you are not dead. You live and abide forever. For in you we live and move and have our being. So, this guy Epitomies, Epimenides was talking about Zeus here. Mm-hmm. Which our people was highly into idolatry at this time. Okay, they were worshiping. They were worshiping uh, Diana, mm-hmm. which Apostle Elder Tahar just went into it recently. It goes into Artemis. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Greek mythology. In Greek mythology, because Zeus was also Zeus was also a, a so-called black man when you really right. go into it. Right, right, right. Can I get a precept real fast? Yes. Um, I'm, I'm gonna read real quick uh, Acts chapter 17. I'm sorry, verse 24. It says, "The Most High that made the world." 
and this is the Apostle Paul and Mars Hill, by the way. It says, The Most High that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Neither is worshipped with men's hands as though he needeth anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. And hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on the face of the earth and hath, and hath determined the times before appointed. So he determined who's going to rise, who's going to fall, who's going to rule at this point of time, who's going to fall at this point of time, right? And the bounds of their habitation. So as far as they're going to go, the Most High already has it set up, right? Verse 27, they that should seek the Lord, if happily they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. Verse 28 is the point. For in him we live and move and have our being. As certain also of, of your own poets have said, for we are of his offspring. He's, talk, he's talking about the same God. Because we just read it in the poem. So to make a long story short, what the Apostle Paul was saying in the book of Titus here, when he was letting Titus know, look, these Christians, right, those Jews that are over there, mm -hmm. are fulfilling their own lusts, mm -hmm. right? They evil bellies, they 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 uh, uh, evil beasts, they're slow bellies, they're liars, right, 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 and they're built upon that mindset. So I'm preparing you to understand, like you're gonna be coming up against some against some demons, pretty right. much. They was in the street of them Epicureans. That's yeah, it. That's yeah. Seventeen. They were lovers of pleasure. Because yeah. when you go into that word slow, in verse twelve, it's argos in the Greek, and it says free from labor, mm -hmm. at leisure, mm -hmm. lazy, shunning the labor which one ought to perform. Mm -hmm. When he talks about slow, slow bellies, mm -hmm. and that's what the Epicureans was compared to the Stoics. Right. You know, they was lovers right. of pleasure. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of all it lines up. Yeah, it broke it all they down. were fulfilling their own lust. Like right, it tells right, you, right. Uh, what is it, Second Peter two? I want to say first of Second Peter two. <laughs> it talks about how they uh, uh, uh they fill their own bellies. They fill their own. Belly. You know what I'm saying? That's those, what it's talking. Their God is their belly. Yeah, the God is their belly. Yeah, that's what that's exactly. what I'm talking about. The, yeah, the, 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 uh, the enemies of the cross. Yes, yeah. so, right. so, that's, so, that's a lot of people because that cross <laughs> that cross represented a new priesthood, man. Like. You right, know, and they, 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 these pretty much they have their own way back to the father through whatever the hell they make us, whatever feeds their yeah. ego. Pretty right. much, that's what they're gonna roll, right. and that's what they're gonna justify mm. through their right. doctrine or whatever. That's right. I got yeah, one more precept, and then we'll get back. Okay, this is Philippians chapter 3, starting at verse 17. And it reads, Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. Mm. For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even also weeping, easy. that they are enemies of the cross of Amashiach, whose end is destruction, mm -hmm. whose God is their belly, mm -hmm. and whose glory is in their shame, right. who Ooh. mind earthly things. <laughs> right, right, earthly things, there you go. I mean, they, they will make up, they will say anything to be right. Mm -hmm. They don't give a damn. Whatever fulfills their belly, or mm -hmm. fulfills what they want, They'll say it, and it's right. and as disrespectful as it sounds. They don't oh, care. Yeah. Right, John the Baptist ain't in the truth. Yeah, he fell don't out. Like, that's like, like, what's wrong with you, bro? That's right. Your that's God right. is your belly. You don't. You're enemies of the cross. That's right. And uh, just, just to bring up a quick point on that too, because even in Titus back in verse ten, it went into those that are of the circumcision, which is a cut to Christians, because he mentioned those that were in Crete, and those Christians and their prophets of those Christians right there. But he's tying those prophets of those Christians to the circumcision right there, which is showing you that these are the Jews that were in those regions that acted in that Gentile way. Niggas. Niggas, man. That was it. Yep. It says, verse 13, Titus 1 and 13, this witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith, not giving heed to Jewish fables. And commandments of men that turn from the truth, man. And that's what they were doing. Yep. And we're seeing it right now, bro. Wow. That's right. He's <laughs> just a bunch of wilding out, man. That's right. And he Come used... So like, no, God, you got I was going to say, he used the example of those Christians, how they were liars, slow bellies, what, what you had went into, Epimenides. Mm -hmm. that, was a, that was a fable. Right. Yeah. But he said Jewish <laughs> fables. Which it was those Jews that was embodying that type of action right there right. that those creeps would that would do. Nasty niggas. Nasty niggas. But he said Jewish fables right there. Right. 
Verse 15, unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. The book of Hebrews ain't the word of God. Bro, mm -hmm. come on. It's, Nothing's pure. It's it's the, the, if life. Paul cuts them, no, nah, that ain't the word of God. It's not the word of God. Right. They hate Hebrews, bro, because it cuts too. It cuts their people. intent. <laughs> and it's the Hebrews. Look at you a Hebrew. Right. 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 And we're using this guy because this is it, it, it brings light to everything right. that we're reading. Yep. Yeah. You know? We don't like we 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 got a you know we woke up and we want to talk about this guy. He's just the you know, the, what his example right now is giving heat. Right. So what we're reading, we're going to see it even more once Facts. we get to that second and third chapter. Facts. Or that third chapter. It says, um, it says, unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. Mm. But mm. even their mind and conscience is defiled. Mm. So you just got demons on them, bro. Right. Seared with a hot eye. Right. Yeah. Right. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him. Yep. Mm. Mm. Man, anybody want to say something? Um, got to appreciate it. Yeah, me too. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we read earlier. What was that in uh, verse fourteen? I know we kind of read down a little bit, but yeah. Titus one fourteen. This is a uh, Second Timothy four and two. It says, "Preach the word." To talk about uh, basically, uh, you know, rebuking them sharply. You know, what I'm saying that they may be sound in the faith. So this is uh, Second Second Timothy uh, four and two. It says, "Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine." For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine after their own lust, but after their own lust uh, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Mm -hmm. and, you know, if you go, if you go like just uh, like we look, we bring out all the time like the views, you know, how big how other camps get more views than the GMS, mm -hmm. uh, they, they might get you know a bunch of likes, they'll get some dislikes, you know, but we be getting heavy dislikes and they be still have lights when it's like they're not teaching sound doctrine because a lot of the people they're coming for you know either to see what you know what drama is going to be coming out of it it's or, world friendly know, doctrine right, right. yeah you know yeah so uh it's one more verse it says uh verse four it says and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto things you know which is mm -hmm. going into that uh precept the jewish faith thing you know mm -hmm. they're just making up their own doctrine right yeah. It's dope. It said they profess that they know God, <laughs> but in works they deny Him. Go ahead. This is First Timothy one and uh, seven. It says, "Desire to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor whereof they are firm." See, Man. desire to be teachers of the law, but you don't know what the hell you're talking about. about. The the <laughs> wow, is it? Yeah, boasting in the priesthood of Aaron when you can't prove you from that day. Exactly. Right. Right. And then we have an yeah. example in John of, of one who could have did that, and he's not. He didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, Shai, who's the right, the, the top angel on the right hand side of the Most High, came onto the earth and humbled himself. He didn't brag. He didn't boast. He didn't take no authority to himself. He just walked the walk, man. Go ahead. It says yeah, they, they was trying to tell the apostles uh, it's their time is up to step down. You know what I'm saying? Let the younger younger brothers. But they got younger men under them though. Yeah. What about them? <laughs> God, I'm Go ahead. Oh, it says, Lord. but we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully, which we're not silent. So that's why we always uh, emphasize the importance of that grace, man. You know, there's so many laws within laws and the technicality. We go tit for tat. It'll continue on all day. Right. And none of us can be justified that way. Right. You know? Nope. That's why we pre we preach the importance of Yahweh Shah, you know, and the, the, the order of being under Melchizedek. Right. Who we all gonna be preached, you know. Right. Right. That's why the law, that's why the law itself prophesied and spoke of a whole other priesthood in the law. Right. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> you know? In the law. In the law. In the law it spoke, right. spoke of a whole other priesthood that's gonna right. be that will be established. So right. Like, Right, that's pretty much All it. right, so this is Titus 2 and 1. You want me to read it? Yeah, we can. I mean, somebody you, else you, if you good, I'm mean, right. You got it. Yeah. Okay. You might as well just finish the whole thing. It's not really that long. But just, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll read 2 and then somebody can pick up. Time, time. It says, but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. Very important. That the aged man be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity and patience. And then the older men... That priest, even that, you know, who, who left off from the physical duties in the temple, you would still need to listen to him. Yep. It wasn't like he, he just, re it was basically like a retirement because the, 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 the duties of the temple and all of that, it took, 
you know, like Just picking up those lady. sacrifices, those right. vessels. Yeah. Yeah, like they were, right, they were in the wilderness, yeah. moving the temple, the tabernacle around. So it took like it's hard straight, work. hardcore. So yeah. at fifty, you retire. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you still had your rank, though. Still had your rank. You still will still be able to give say so on how things right. operate to the younger men. That's you you right. I had one Eli. I was going to just bring up the example with Samuel um, and, and Saul. You know, Saul was always there to count. I'm sorry, Samuel was always there to counsel Saul. You know, but when Saul would screw up and he would mess up, Samuel was there to clean it up, like Agag. You know what I'm saying? And those sacrifices and such. Mm-hmm. And he was constantly there to, to reprimand them and rebuke them. And right. he finally, the Lord finally used him to be like, man, you off. You know what I'm saying? The Lord still chose that prophet right there, that priest too, mm-hmm. to be like, look, you tripping, man. You're done. We're going to find another one, man. But Samuel wasn't the, the, the head around that time. But the Lord still used him as that example to be like, look, I'm going to use you to tell him he tripping and go find another one. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. It says the uh, the aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands. To love their children. The women want to get on the video and say everything but this. Right. Right. This, is, this is the, Their only message is to the prophets, what we need to do, where we wrong at. But when it comes to this message, they well, where are they at? Where are these Israelite women who do teach, who, who, who do get on YouTube videos? Some of them may, you know, we may know about who do it. But that are telling women, look, be obedient to your husbands. You know, this is how you take your, take care of your children. Here's some uh, recipes on how you can make better food. This is how you can do this. You can teach your children this. Yada, yada. You don't see that. Sewing lessons. Sewing lessons. Yeah. 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 The Israelite around. woman wants to get on the video and be in a lot of the prophets. Right. Right. Prophets. Yeah, right. prophets. Yeah, right. Yeah. And a woman can receive dreams and things like that. But man, I mean, damn. Okay. You you not meant to lead and go out on the highways and the byways. That's not your role. Nope. Right. And then when it comes down to the nitty gritty, they don't want to do that type of stuff. But the pride and demons on them got them wanting to do it, man. Mm-hmm. But we're living in a time where it's all being addressed through the spirit, man. All right, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Wow. And what do you have happen? Women who come learn from particular groups get mad because they don't agree with something and go you know, telling it on every channel cursing out this this group did this that group did that did, 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 did. then the word of the Lord is blasphemy being yeah, a busy body a busy body camp, camp bobbing and hopping <laughs> camp thighs yeah <laughs> camp thighs and when you do that when you do those actions when you're not obedient to your husband you know you don't want to teach the, uh, the younger women and then the younger women don't want to be discreet. They don't want to be chased. They just want to be out there and doing their own thing. Mm-hmm. Well, nah, I want to do it. Well, you, well, you actually blaspheming in the word of the Most High. Yep. You know? Yep. Yep. <laughs> it says, uh, in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works and doctrine and showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed having no evil thing to say of you. Mm. That's why we have to stick to the doctrine only. Stick to the script. Stick to the script. Keep keep exalting your Hawashai. You know, don't don't get into these cult personalities because those demons jump in your mind. Mm-hmm. I'm you know that I man, I'm but nah, hey man, it's all we'll get exalted in due time. But once it's all said and done, who who what are they gonna have to say about us? Right. Who stuck to the word and only kept preaching mm-hmm. and just told the truth, all right? Stick to the word when people see that. Serious. They take you serious yeah. after, and that's what's happening in the yeah. spirit right now. Yeah. The elect are starting to see through the slander, the rape, and the lies, and they're starting to say, well, "You know what? Let me listen to." And, and they're being edified and fed. But you got to get out of the flesh, all right? Um, exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters. Now, a lot of people use this to say, "Well, the Bible teaches you to be obedient to your to, to Esau." No, this is talking about what what happened at at the time of the uh, the, the the converting of these Gentiles, these Israelites. Some of them were uh, working for particular masters. There was particular there was different types of masters. You know, you have a master who teaches you how to fight. 
to have a master who could teach you, you know, or you could have a well-to-do family who hired you to work in their house. So these particular uh, uh, Jakes who were waking up, they thought that they could just go talk to their master any kind of way because they woke up to the truth. Like you can't, this is basically saying don't go to work being an asshole. Right, Right. yeah. Your supervisor. Your supervisor is pretty much your master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. And none of you niggas go talking to your supervisor crazy, but you'll talk to your spiritual father's crazy. Sure. Well, I don't work for nobody. Some of you do, and not all of you niggas got your own business. And you don't go to work uh, uh, going to Burger King talking about I'm selling a Big Mac. No, you your black ass gonna sell the the, the whopper. That's right. That's right. You gonna stick to what your supervisor told you to do. You're not gonna go in there. Hey, y'all selling pork? No. <laughs> Chill up. out. It's up. not our kingdom. God. This is what he's saying. Let's read it one more time. Now. Let you. It says, "Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters and please them well in all things, not answering again." So, these were particular uh, Jakes who were waking up to the faith, but maybe they had a master or worked for somebody who wasn't a believer or believed in a strange God. That didn't give you the go-ahead to go to your master and to your job and just say, fuck you. You worship a false idol, motherfucker. You know? Yeah. No. You want to celebrate Christmas, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just, you, you just operate. Yeah, you just just yeah I'll just, just, just real quick. Like I was that. even going to say, even when you read the book of Philemon, which comes up next, Philemon was a master. Mm-hmm. You know, when you go into that account, Philemon, who was a master, who also was an understudy of Paul, he had a servant that was under him named Onesi- uh, Onesimus. Uh, uh, Onesimus. Yeah, and Oni- Onesimus stole from him, and he ran off. And Paul and Onesimus was in prison together. And Paul even went to Onesimus like, look, you know what I'm saying? He broke bread with him, told him what it was. Then he wrote a letter back to Philemon, which is that book of Philemon that we have, was to show repentance and forgive Onesimus for that sin that he transgressed. So going into that example right there, being obedient unto those masters, Philemon was even an example of a master mm-hmm. that had a servant that was under him that was not obedient, but he repented afterwards, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. You had believing masters, you know, who may have been kind of like rough. Mm-hmm. You know, just do this, do, 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 do. But you, you, you just, he was just like, look, chill. Just chill. Just because you woke up doesn't give you the go-ahead to, to wow out. Mm-hmm. That's all this is talking about now. Esau took this, yeah, right, right, <laughs> and right. whooped your ass and yeah. says, "You see what I say? Be obedient to your master." Yeah, mm-hmm. And this yeah. is one of the the black conscious community uh, uh, arguments. Yeah, they right? love to go to this. Say, sir, obey your master. What type of shit is that? But then they'll go to work and obey their master. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Sure <laughs> Niggas are something else, boy. Backward. <laughs> it says, "My man, Mister Miller." Right. <laughs> Yeah. It says card. not. What's this word? Purloining. Yeah, Purloining means literally pretty much like you know how somebody could be in a, in a grocery store or work in a cash register and they stealing money little time, little by little. Mm-hmm. That's what purloining literally means. You stealing something like little by little. Oh shit! Like like uh, like, uh, like, 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 uh, like we you yeah, just like said. Like Onesimus. Like yeah. Onesimus. That's that's mm-hmm. that's, that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, yeah. A, it's dope. How it's right at the next book right after. Right. 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 Don't be stealing. Cause I'm a, you know, I'm an Israelite. You know, Jake's still in highlighters and shit. I took some highlighters. <laughs> you got a collection of pens. <laughs> hey, it's all good. You can use it. Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah. still in highlighters from your job. Your paper and pads. Want me to be a bezel? Oh, kind of. Hey, uh, huh? That's also means to embezzle. Mm. But that's what embezzle. You don't take the whole lump. You just yeah. take pennies. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, where right, it's right, not right, 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 right. Yep. Not. uh Purloining, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior, in all things. So we don't go, when we go out, you notice people watch us. Like, damn, these dudes are some upstanding. We clean up, up our mess after, we don't just leave a mess. People mm-hmm. notice that type of stuff. So when it's all said and done, when we're on the news, they're going to be like, that's them dudes, man. Mm-hmm. They wasn't they wasn't crazy. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Homeless dude, like, they gave us a yeah. They gave us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got a quick precept. Yep. This is 1 Timothy 3 and 7. It says, moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without. Least or for fear. Them that, that are with the, read that again. Con. It says, moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without. The people that are without, the truth, shouldn't have evil to say of you. Mm-hmm. Right? You went to work every day. Man, y'all eating pork, walking in the lunchroom, knocking over the Christmas bu- tree, balls falling all over the ground and shit, <laughs> the lights. Nah, man, they shouldn't have that to say of you. Mm-hmm. They should just say, oh, he was quiet. 
He was smart. I, he, I knew there was something different about him. Yeah, you know, exactly. I mean, you know, exactly. he was funny. You know, I don't, you know, go ahead. Con, least he fall into reproach in the snare of the devil. Boom. Boom. Yeah. It makes me think about Lamentation, the third chapter as well. And this is loosely paraphrasing, but goes into how a man will sit and learn quietly. Mm-hmm. You know yep. what I'm saying? Lamentation, the third chapter, going to, to being quiet. You know, not making yourself a known reputation mm-hmm. among people that the Lord really don't give a damn about anyway. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because these people are through. Right. You know, just do what you got to do. Be a man of the Lord. Go out on the highways. Yeah. Do the work. Take your ass. Get get out early. Take your ass home. Mm-hmm. It said he giveth his cheek to them that smite him. That don't mean he just getting hit. Exactly. That just means you see yeah. things around you every day that you don't agree with that go against your how about your shy. That's right. But you got to take it. Because mm-hmm. it's right. not our kingdom. It's not our rest. You got to be an upstanding citizen of your of, of the nation of Israel. You be the uh, the example. Everything else around you, you, you have no control of that. You're not sovereign. Mm-hmm. We're not sovereign. We woke up in Babylon. Right, right. There's particular things you're gonna have to ignore and and, 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 and be vexed. Yep, be vexed. Mm-hmm. It's a fight. All right. It says, uh, "For the grace of God that bringeth salvation." So what you do during your grace period. All right, it's very important. Good. Your grace period is a period where you're not judged directly by the law, but by your intent. Right. Where you offer up a spiritual sacrifice through pre- preaching, through your everyday walk. Mm-hmm. Let's read that again. It says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. Now, what do Christians say? See? All men. Okay. It also say, all, t- all shall know me under the second covenant. <laughs> it was mm-hmm. Before that, it talked about Judah and Israel, man. Right. Yeah. Ye men of Israel, hear right. these words. Right. There you go. So, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, all right, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present world. So, this cuts the Christians that say you can do whatever the hell you want to mm-hmm. do. This grace period was not meant for us to just be in the world and become more ungodly that's yeah. why uh, uh as apostle of the bar brought out use not this liberty of yours for an occasion to the flesh yeah, I, I was told Hit it. <laughs> yep yeah, i'll just read it uh, galatians 5 and 13 it says for brethren you have been called unto liberty mm. another word for liberty is grace grace yep it says only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh right but by love serve one another yep yep right yep so it says, uh, so we live godly in this present world. We don't join in with the with the world mm-hmm. like the Christian church. We separate right. and shine as lights in darkness, man. Right. All right. And we're working out our salvation right. during this grace period. Right, you know? right, right. right. Mm-hmm. right. That don't mean you go to the club. I'm a light. Right. No, you just at the club, bro. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. I'm a light in the club. No, you just uh, at the no, club. You, you just you just listen to the music, do right. you have you a few drinks and get you take your ass off if that's what you want to do. I'll be far in the street. Right, you ain't in the fucking in the club, you know, the converting yeah. bouncers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, bro, yeah, she man, love, like she, I think she's sincere. Now, if that happens to happen one day, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that, come on, bro, stop, bro. It's so, like so, so, uh, so, you know, the Sakara and them had actually did that before, like oh, yeah. three years back. Yeah, they had went in Dallas, down, uh, Dallas yeah. to a strip club rebuking, set up camp yeah, outside Atlanta, outside. Atlanta, yeah. Yeah, 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 cursing out the strippers, Tripping. telling them they need to repent. But then they go to have the power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, you got a man. Sure. You know, you ain't you ain't, you, you ain't married, are you? Yeah, right. Get your ass out of here, bro. And that's proof that you're not worthy to lead. Okay, that was a Sabbath, man. Yeah. Okay, but 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 you you they they so say repent it, but then at the same time you pointing the finger at everybody else instead of just saying we fucked up, man. Go ahead. It shows that ain't repentance. Yep. They yeah. didn't repent. So halfway, halfway crooks. Go ahead. Yeah. First Peter chapter two, verse fifteen and sixteen. It says, "For so is the will of the Most High, that with well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, as free, and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, mm-hmm. but as the servants of the Most High." Right. You, should, you may have certain brothers who do, who are able to operate in that arena. I'm not able to do it. I can't. I'm not. I don't. I don't like going to the club, but. You may have a brother who every once in a while he dibbles and dabbles, but you don't promote that to the church. Right. You may have a young brother who got demons on him. He go try it out, and the next thing you know, he breakdancing drunk in a circle. Everybody around him, go, 
go, y'all, go, 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 you know, bugging out, doing a kid and play. Bumping, you know, going to Carlton. Yeah. You know I mean? Oh, yeah, we were you got Jake with car demons on him, bro. So you got to be mindful what you push, man. Because if Jake will go, oh, shit, oh, okay. That's right. You know, go destroy yourself, man. That's right, bro. You got to be very, very, you know, be wise, man. You know, there's certain things you have liberty to do, but, bro. You don't want the ministry to be blamed. Right. That's right. That's right. Good. Oh, man. It says, looking for, uh, looking for, verse 13, uh, Titus 2 and 13, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who gave himself for us. He died for the nation of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. Starting with the elect. Right. That's right. That he might redeem us back to the Father, from all iniquity, and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. Man, that's that's, that's how the church is to operate in, in, in a heathen kingdom. Mm -hmm. He's giving you the breakdown of how to operate, man. And uh, the Apostle Paul also there is talking about, that's how you know he's talking about Israel because it goes into Exodus 19, the peculiar people. There you that's go. That's how you know he's talking to Israel. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Somebody got that? Where is I that? can grab it real quick. This is Exodus chapter 19, verse, uh, verse 6. Excuse me. Verse 5. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, and you notice it's talking to Israel when you go to verse 1. Then he shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. Right, and that's going to make you weird because peculiar means kind of like yeah, weird, strange, strange. strange you know what I'm saying? And we are like the way weird we think is weird yeah. in this world. Like what? That's you don't true. eat this. You don't eat that. Why you? Mm -hmm. it, it's strange. It's weird. It's different. Mm -hmm. They're special. Special, right? Yeah, yeah. You're set apart. For all the earth is mine. So that's how you know right. that the apostle Paul was speaking to Israelites. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Creep. Peter well, says it too. Yeah, Peter says, says the same it. thing. He sure does. Yeah. Yep. Offering up that spiritual sacrifice. It says, these things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. I'll keep reading. But I ain't tripping. Okay. Instructions for teaching. Put them in mind. So in verse 15, what do you say? Speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. He's telling Titus, look, you're going to have to do this. Mm -hmm. And like some of our personalities wasn't to rebuke. Me personally, I'm not a type of person that rebukes, but I had to develop these characteristics in order to lead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stewards of the ministry. You're stewards of the ministry. You're a manager sure. of his word. Right. So you're going to have to have some type right. of authority, right? Right, right. right. You know? And you go feel bad afterwards, but it was the Lord speaking yes. for you. Right. You know, because I don't, you know, after rebuking, I'll be like, damn, bro. Yeah. I screamed at, you know, right. you know, but it, it's, it's a must. Yep. That's how Israel is built. You're going to have to curse curse their ass out, bro. This is must come. Yep. Verse, uh, chapter 3 and 1. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers. Obey magistrates to be ready to every good work. What does that mean? When you when you go into that right there, because there's certain times when you read principalities, mm -hmm. and it is talking about demons certain times. Mm -hmm. But right here, it's not talking about that. It's actually talking about potentates or judges or judges. rulers and such, mm -hmm. officers. You think about accounts when Jake getting pulled over by the cops. There you go. Mm -hmm. the video Jake posted on the chat yesterday going into them eaves in Walmart that was tripping. A good precept to that is Romans the thirteenth chapter. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? Being subject though for those powers because right. the Lord has set them up. Because Jake was trying to rebel against that tax. Mm -hmm. right. And it was like, why? Well, it's their world. It's yeah, how would right. you said it? Those That's have right. a jurisdiction mm -hmm. over right. a certain area. Right. That's right. Whether it be a security guard, if right. you're in a certain setup, right. you right. gotta even obey the security guard. Right, right. Yeah. Like when they have right. the mask thing, you yeah. know, yeah. you're in the airport, the yeah. TSA chick going yeah. crazy, you yeah. gotta pull that yeah. mask, you gotta pull it up, you wanna join yeah. yeah. that plane? Yeah, yeah. 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 You gotta respect her yeah. jurisdiction. Yeah. 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 I'm doing too damn yeah. much. And it should make you mad, too. They be yelling, laptops, and this, 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 Come on now. That's but the, right. the, the, the a bunch of pedophiles walk through. They ain't screaming at them. <laughs> right. So, but you just the type of shit you got to deal. That's what turn the other cheek really means. That's yeah. it. That's it. Because you 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 can't really judge mm -hmm. according to the the laws in this world. You got to watch evil. All right, corruption just forward. Right. No, go ahead. Just a quick precept. This is Romans thirteen and one. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Or when you go into that word powers there, it's it's some expulsia, which goes into judges. It says, for there is no power but of the most high. The powers that be are ordained of the most high. Mm -hmm. 
Whosoever therefore resisteth the power. And that word resist goes into anti tasmon it, it specifically is going into forming a military. Mm. All right, to fight against the Roman Empire. Basically. Interesting who that sounds because like. Because you had uh, uh, zealots mm -hmm. who were repenting and coming over to following the, the, but they tried to keep that mindset. He was yeah. like, no, don't bring that shit That's over right. here. That's right. That's what they're talking about. You got people saying this is talking about in the kingdom. Huh? How? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, man. I, I, hey, Jake, you tripping. <laughs> what? Go ahead. Romans 13 and 2. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinances of the Most High. Right, because they'll say, how, how, you telling me the heathen are ordinance of the Most High? When you read Daniel, the seventh chapter, exactly. all of those kingdoms those were set up by the Most High. Exactly. And Israel absolutely. was in subject to those kingdoms. Absolutely. They're ministers of the Most High. A minister just means you're obeying the orders of someone else. Right. That's right, that's right. Nebuchadnezzar Bro. was called the servant. Yeah. Yes. That's the right. Most High yes. said, Nebuchadnezzar is my servant. That's right. Cyrus is called as anointed right. in Isaiah 45. That's what his name means. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. It goes into how, bro, he, the Lord gave him power, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. But when he continue, it says, Whosoever resist, therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinances of the Most High, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Right. You can't take so, down the, the fourth beast. Then what would they have to rule? Mm -hmm. You can't take, take down a little horn on your own. It had to do what it had to do. It's going to get taken down, but you can't do it. Go ahead. There's two more verses. It says, for, for rulers are not a terror to good works. So no matter what captivity you win, that don't change the fact that you still have the ability to please the most high right. and do your good works there you go. in this captivity. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of the most high, to thee for good. Right, he's the minister to thee for good. He set these heathen up. Mm -hmm. So for you to separate from this kingdom, mm -hmm. preach the word. So, so the heathen have to, the, the heathen ruling right now is a good thing. Absolutely. Because here it is, we're set up right. preaching. The, the right. apostles and prophets at that time. That's right. They were preaching in Rome, but there came a point where they were like, hell no. Nah. That's right. But that was a, that, that when we read it, that was a powerful act. That's right. So the heathen had to be ruling in order for the disciples and the prophets to be set up and work the good work. Go ahead. That's right. That was part of our humiliation. Part right. Of our humbling. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. Right. He'll <laughs> fuck your ass up. Yeah, bro. I gave his ass the sword. That's right. That's right. And who was ruling in? The, the East Esau. Mm hmm Go ahead. Come. For he is the minister of the Most High, a revenger. To execute wrath upon him that do it evil. Don't, don't, don't Esau do it. Now jump real <laughs> quick. Jump to the seventh verse. Because okay, this okay. is the point. The start, start at six. Okay, this is Romans 13 and six. For, for, for this cause, pay ye tribute also. Mm -hmm. But they are the most highest ministers. So there, this was that tax. Mm -hmm. That yeah, Jake yeah. was rebelling against that tax that was put in place. Because that's pretty much what started a, a whole hell of a... Yeah, that absolutely. tax. Those re absolutely. zealots rebelled against that tax. Mm -hmm. Paul's like, we're not a part of that shit. That's right. Let that's them right. do that. That's one of the reasons why Matthew was despised. He's right. Tax He's collector. a tax collector. Right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Right. Mm -hmm. for, this for, for this cause, pay ye tribute also... For they are the Most High's ministers attending continually upon this very thing. So this is where Jake says, well, how is this sort of so the, the heathen of ministers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Somebody look up the word minister in the Greek right, right. there. Yeah, well, that's saying. interesting. Right. In the Greek. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, clearly, I mean, a heathen, is, these heathen, what did this Lord say? The Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men, and he set it up over right. it whomever the hell he yeah, wants. That makes us a mean. And they're going to do his will. What? That's Rule right. and wickedness. That's right. That's Put right the up. Israelites in captivity. That's right. They're doing his will. The Assyrians. What did he say? That's it. That's <laughs> what I was about to say. I, <laughs> go I say ahead. in the 10th chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says he calls the Assyrian his sword. Right. Meaning he's mm -hmm. going to use his sword to execute whatever he needs to do. Right. Mm -hmm. And that sword is used to divide and cut asunder, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. So if it's his will to use these heathen to do his will, he's going to do it because the heathen is his minister at the end of the day. Yeah. He rules in the kingdom of men. Mm -hmm. There you go. That word ministers in the Greek is lapturgos. All right. Strong. All right. Uh, it says, uh, it says those by whom the most high, those by whom the most high administers his affairs and execute his decrees. Mm -hmm. There's some more. That was it. Right. Hey, that's the point. That's right. It. Right. This is where you use 
discernment. That's right. Discernment kicks in. Right. Because you have to understand the term and judgment. Right. right. Place. right. That's right. how you please the most side. Right. Take be over righteous. Over righteous. Shit, man. Right. Just, just use discernment right. to move through this thing, man. Right. Keep his commandments on you. Mm -hmm. You know, put them in the law of the Lord through the Spirit, man. Ministers on the left hand, right. ministers on the right. It's just that simple, man. Con, Keep re just read those next two verses and that's it. Con, this is Romans 13 and 7. Render read therefore... 6 again and read 7 and that's it. Okay. Romans 13 and 6. For for this cause pay ye tribute also. For they are the most highest ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their duties. Tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear. Honor to whom honor. So yeah, you, you, you can't rebel. Pay your taxes. Pay your taxes, nigga. Go to work. You know, you pay your bills. Yeah. You gonna get yeah, your ass yeah, evicted. Lockdown, right? you, because the zealots were like, we're, we're basically their thing was, we're the, we're the God's chosen people. We we we're not under no the authority of the Romans. Right, right, right. Yes, your ass is. Mm -hmm. Even your business that you got is under the authority of Esau. It's it's in his system. Absolutely, man. That's why the scripture in Proverbs says, if a man's ways right. please the Lord, to make his enemies be at peace with him. There you go, bro. Simple as that. Agree with thine adversary. Agree with thine adversary. So going back to Titus 3 and 1. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers and obey magistrates to be ready to every good work. All right? That's all they can say about us is they preached. Mm -hmm. They didn't like what they said, but they didn't come out here trying to take down America. That... that you know, and they're going to try to link us to these particular zealots and these particular guys that they set up. But what protects us is our true intent. Right. We've openly confessed that's not what we're all about. So the blood of Yahawashai and the testimony covers us. Mm -hmm. To speak no evil, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. Mm. Okay? Speaking evil. Yeah, you ain't blaspheming nobody. You ain't right. blaspheming another man right. and lying on another man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, you know, oh, well, you got these guys that believe in rape. You blaspheming? Right. It. We don't need to, but right. And we broke it down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But hey, you know, you know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, at the end of the day, yeah. Yeah. Right. Own. even you, if you, it man. didn't, it wasn't, it didn't come across as clear. All right, uh, at first we broke it down. You are supposed to give you all right. What, what are you talking about? And once you and brothers have done it, we have brothers on the other side that said they were when they heard it, they were like, "Wait a minute, what do they what do they mean yeah, by that?" Yep, yep, and once yep. they got the understanding, like, "Oh, absolutely." The yeah. woman yesterday, we were at camp yeah, teaching. Like, oh, okay. As soon as we her. broke it down, she was like, "Oh," because at first she was like, "Wait a minute." That's why she came over. Right, she even walked me, but 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 after a while, she was like, "Oh, okay, <laughs> I get it. It's just a law if it happens." Right. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's anyway, it says, uh, "For we ourselves." Also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceiving, serving diverse lust and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. If I may, Zaquan, you brought up the example yesterday at camp going into when we were in the wilderness mm -hmm. and why the most I had us in the wilderness that long so we could get the Egypt mm -hmm. that was out of us so that Egypt could be purged out of, out of us. us. Right, right. And that's the period that we're in right now. All those different things that Paul mentioned to Titus right here were those examples. We read it going into those Christians that he was going to have to contend with and everything. And those individuals that were going to have to come up right. and he was going to have to teach. Those right. leaders he was going to have right. to bring right. up pretty right. much. Right. We're in that process right now where that Egypt, that malice, envying, all these different things mm -hmm. are being purged out of us right now. Yeah. You know, and he's going into the leadership position. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Those that are leaders in these churches right here, right. that has to be purged out in order to be considered of that regard. Priesthood. Right. The priesthood. Yep. That's right. I got a precept for you. This is uh, Acts 17 and 30. It says, In the times of this ignorance, the Most High winked at, right. but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. And all men of the nation of Israel, whether we were scattered, you know, once we woke up to this truth, right. we're required to repent now right. yep. and put off those former ways, you know? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I got one whenever you do. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just read it real quick. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 2 and 1, I'll read verse 1 and 2. It says, And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, where in a time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. And were by nature 
the children of wrath, mm -hmm. even as others. So we all were, we we were we were in that we were in that world before mm -hmm. too. You gotta be patient. Yeah, you know, we were back there doing doing BS and madness too. So you know, the Apostle Paul is, is teaching uh, Titus like, look. You know, when you, like the elder perfectly said, man, you got to be patient with those individuals coming in because that had to be, like you mentioned yesterday at camp, another another point you said, well, we was niggas for years. I'm talking right. about just 20 plus years of just niggas. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Church is chicken in our DNA. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That got to be purged out. That's not, it ain't going to happen cook, overnight. Kind of you know? dumb, yeah. Jake, like, I have some shit to do. That's why Paul said, I became all things to all men. Like right. meaning, like he meeting he certain brothers where they are because we come from all are. different walks of life coming into this faith. So right. time, you gotta be patient with right. the brothers, you know. Right. right. That's why there's no room to be boasting. Exactly. Well. We can eat the most. I can take out the part of this and quickly put us in here too. Man, yeah. bro. Well, I ain't no room for boasting. Right. That's the. I remember I was uh, playing football. It was a nigga who he he started that week. <laughs> he said, man. It was, I remember me and my partner keep laughing at this every time we talk. He said, as easily as it was given. It could be taken. He had the helmet on the mouth. <laughs> like, <"Nigga>, shut up, Because <laughs> he, he was trying to be humble. Like, because he started that way. He was, he was given, it could be taken. But it's true. It's true. It's true. The Lord could, yeah, he appreciated it. The Lord could bug us out, man. Yeah. All right. Nigga, right. cleats. He had, like, big ass cleats. He was horrible looking, nigga. He's a Neary Bird. Yeah, big ass. Like, they were long. No they were like a 15. He had no, like, no, yeah. no, no, no gloves. No. He was like one of them, like, them throwback jakes. <laughs> He had the James Evans. You know? All right, <laughs> Titus three and four. It says, <laughs> "But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior, toward all men appeared. He had mercy on us, bro. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Look at that ignorance, like I right. read, man. Right. Because we did things that really should be punishable by death. Yeah. So yeah. We still here, bro. In the, in the under the first covenant." The, the main, the halted, the blind, they weren't accepted. You couldn't yeah. go into the yeah. temple. Mm -hmm. But under Yahawashai, they're welcomed. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's exactly <laughs> what's going into that's, the temple. That's what's happening. Mind you bringing that an yes, example? Yes, absolutely. That's, that is a very spiritual example, right? Around the time of Pentecost, when those apostles received those pro the promise of the Lord, which are those gifts, Peter and John went to that man that was lame, that sat in front of the temple, beautiful. And right when he was brought up, they walked right inside of the temple right there. You know, according to the law, he wasn't allowed to be in the temple. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. But through through that miracle that was worked, mm -hmm. that had taken place. And through the spirit, that's taking place with all of us right Bro, now. if you had a problem, like, let's just say you had prostate issues, you wouldn't be able to go into the temple. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have a, a crooked back. A, you could certain flat nose. Scotty Pippen Scott wouldn't be able, flat nose, he yeah. wouldn't be able to go into the temple. Yeah, well, no. Get your ass out of here. But now under your house, you can be through. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and you can enter to the holy at all. Seriously, flat nose. Uh, yeah, Somebody Scott type in uh, maimed and yeah. halted. Just type right. in maimed or halted or something like you that. Talking about the law, right? It's, it's gonna show it in a few places. It's in it's in, um, but um, <laughs> you really, seriously. So to like like Bon Supply said, man, it was heavy what he said. You, what's the use of boasting, bro? When all of us need mercy. Yep. From the t from the one who does the most videos to the one. Who, who's the, the least among you? We need mercy. Mm -hmm. What are you boasting about? Right. Why is Earth and Ashes proud? Why? Yeah. But all you have to do is type in like a main halt. You typed it in? Uh, yeah, kind of. Where is it um, at? So you got Leviticus 20, Read that. Read that in Leviticus. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start up, I think, in like the 20. <laughs> Scotty Pippen. <Pitt. laughs> the 21st verse. This is Leviticus 20. 2 and 21 it says and whosoever offereth a sacrifice of peace offerings unto Yahweh to accomplish his vow or a free will offering in beeves or sheep it shall be perfect to be accepted there shall be no blemish therein oh it's going into the offering too right uh, can't have no blemish mm -hmm. and so I, could, and I, I didn't really pre-read it okay. but this is the first one it says uh, blind, blind or broken or maimed or having a wind or scurvy or scab you shall not offer these unto the Lord. Yeah, you can't offer. Now we're a spiritual temple offering up spiritual sacrifices through. Through. Now under Yahweh. Oh, you got something? Just a quick, just quick, just quick example ahead. of Malachi. Now it's, it should say it under uh, in Matthew somewhere too. Yeah. I think there's two ways to spell it. That's probably why I'm going to get it. Okay. Because under Yahweh, I said bring the main, the halted. Go ahead. This is Malachi chapter 2 starting at it's 12 and 13. 
but it says, but ye have profaned it, and in that ye say, the table of the Lord is polluted, and the fruit thereof, even as meat, is contemptible. Mm -hmm. Ye said also, behold, what a weariness it is, and ye have snuffed at it, and snuffed means stolen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You had a lot of those priests, even back around that time, that was taking stolen sheep to offer up unto the Most High, Damn. when there wasn't even theirs that belonged to them. Damn. Yeah, they was tripping, bro. You mentioned it at camp yesterday how they was they was doing that type of stuff in the time of Malachi. Oh yeah, they were they tripping. was they was tripping. They were stealing. They were stealing those sheep. Not all of them, but it was happening. But anyway, when you steal a sheep, you're supposed to return. They you You ain't even supposed to steal it. If you find one that's lost, you're supposed to return it. These niggas was stealing it, tripping, bro. It says, ye said also, behold, what a weariness it is. Ye have snuffed or stolen at it, saith the Lord of hosts. And ye brought that which was torn, and the lame, and the sick. This ye brought an offering. Should I accept this of your hand, saith the Lord? And that's going into the example. He's asking the question, like, am I supposed to accept this right here? When you obviously being a nigga, you know, and do the spirit, like spiritually on the left hand, that's taking place with a lot of guys out there. Mm -hmm. You know, but that was that example in Malachi. Right. Did y'all find the one with Yahweh shot? I got you. Go ahead. This is Luke chapter 14 and verse 21. So that the servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. There you go. Now so you can now you can right. go into the temple. And those priests was mad at the fact that yeah. those was coming in. Right. But you niggas was the same ones I was bringing that to the temple from the get go in the carnal sense. Right. You know, that's Boy. why that's why in the book of Isaiah it says that your hands you got blood on your hands. Mm -hmm. You know, because they right. was do, they was doing that in the time with, with the uh, uh, with the sacrifices. You know. Right. right. Somebody has some. All right, we'll go back to uh, Titus chapter three and four. Or about five, it says, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo! That's heavy. I got a Yep, yep. Ezra 9 and 13, and after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespassing, seeing that our power has punished us less than our iniquities deserve. Right. Woo, my good. Us, such mm -hmm. deliverance at this. Mercies of David. No man. He was not punished how he really technically yeah, to the letter yeah. should have been punished. Right. Yeah. I got some. Right. Go ahead. Romans 3, 19 and 20. It says, Now we know that what things over the law saith is saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before the most high. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no, no flesh, flesh be justified in sight. Mm -hmm. For there by the law is the knowledge of sin. Right, and Abraham is the perfect example of that. Yep. He kept the laws once he woke up. Don't get me wrong, but he wasn't given mercy because he was keeping the law right. so perfectly. Right, right. It was the Most High's grace. That's right. His, his, his will. Yep. His faith. Yep. yep. Go ahead. Ephesians two and eight. It says, "For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves; it is the gift of the Most High." Mm -hmm. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Right, lest any man should boast. Damn, oh man. That's heavy. <laughs> so, man, you got to take that into consideration, man. That, and that should take away all pride, understanding that. Straight up. Yep. You know? Yep. Um, some more? I was just going to say, like Romans 9 it says, not if, it is not of him, he that well, willeth or runneth, but the most highest show of mercy. Yep. It was already preordained right. who was going to be, you know, righteous, right. who was going to be wicked from the foundation. Right. You should earth. be like, wow, the Lord gave me a chance? Right. I don't exactly. Because when you read the prophecy, we wake up, it, it say right. we wake up and, yeah. right, right, you know, right. stand on our feet, and you're doing it, so you like, shit. Straight up. You don't say, I'm, you know, you get proud and start boasting. Yeah, you know? boosting over ranking. I'm right, the high right. priest and Well, here chief. we go. Keep, watch yeah. as we keep reading. You go and bring that up. It says, um, "Let me read it again." Not by works of righteousness which we have done, all right? Meaning you should do it, but according to His mercy, He saved us by the washing of regeneration. In the time when we came back in this flesh, mm -hmm. He washed us yeah. from the filth because we were promised to wake up, and that happened with these Gentiles, man. Mm -hmm. In renewing of the Holy Spirit. Which he shed on us abundantly through Yahweh our Savior. Abundantly. 
we don't even deserve the little bit, but he gave it to us abundantly. Mm-hmm. That's why in verse three he was going into all the stuff we was doing before. He's like, man, we would be we would walking after these lusts. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and then he said, yeah. then he said, it said, so it wasn't by the works of our righteousness because we wasn't doing we righteousness. Were through. Mm-hmm. We were he just woke us up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like Abraham, Abraham oh, was restored to his oh, legacy to his while he was uncircumcised. Ooh, bro, we've been called to something crucial. These bodies reference, okay, these are vessels that we have, right? So the most I have to see us clean enough to pour the spirit upon us. That's yeah. how he's spreading his word out to Spread it. Because he's doing vessels. We're vessels, right? Spread this water right. out to Jacob. That's, that's, right. that's right. That's right. Can't be defiled. Straight up. Okay. Living if you are defiled, you're going to get this word. Right. Mm. That's right. Whatever right. measure he give you. Right. Sometimes. That's right. That being justified by his grace, see, mm-hmm. during this grace period, we're not under a covenant right now. Right, right. And this, I don't think a lot of Jake understand this. We're not under a covenant. We're under grace. We're, under gra- we're not under the law. <laughs> we're, we're not, not under, under the law. The law. Yeah, we're yeah, we're, we're not, not under. If we were under the law, oh my goodness. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. Through. Yeah. Unclean. Bro, read the law. Yeah. Through. Bro. Yeah. yeah straight up, bro. Yeah, Man, bro, unclean in the moon. It says, <laughs> "Sheesh." Mm. What was the name of that king? So, like, it was a, a side note. Uh, Josiah, bro, he like I, I was just thinking about that, like, and that was back then when he yeah. read the law, right? When they read when the priest read of the law. He lamented afterwards. Like, oh, like, oh Lord! So you don't read the law and get proud. No, How could you read the law and get proud? Yeah, because you're cut. All of us, you're yeah. cut. There's a point mm-hmm. you're cut. At yeah. some point, Absolutely. you're gonna be like, "Oh Lord, yep. Absolutely. I've done this shit, man." How many Passovers we missed? Right, man. Seeing in this truth, yeah. in this yeah. truth, there's things we've done, bro. That's like, oh man. Lord, have mercy. Yeah, we Give me that. Times over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So it says, um, it said that being justified by His grace, we should be made heirs. Mm. Now, what are we heirs to? We're heirs according Ooh, to the hope of the salvation. I mean, heirs to the promise, the promise man. made to Abraham, Isaac, and, and Jacob. Jacob. Yep. All right? right? According to hope of eternal life. We're going to live. We go, we go, this government is going to be set up in righteousness, bro. That's right. That's right. That is a faithful saying. And these things, I will that thou affirm constantly. Constantly, constantly, always go into this. Always say this. Always talk about that. They which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto man. Mm -hmm. Christian church ain't teaching this. Well, watch this. But avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, Mm -hmm. for they are unprofitable in vain. Now, Mm -hmm. you would have particular men raise up. And boast in their genealogy. Right. Now Christians try to use this to say, "Well, y'all saying y'all are the Israelites." Yep. That's a th- no. P- prophecy clearly says the Israelites will wake up right. and mm-hmm. call themselves after the name of Jacob. Say that they're Israelites. All right, or stand on their feet. All right, but this is speaking of niggas amongst the church, right? Who were boasting in their priestly position, that's right? That's right. Or, or or whatever tribe it was, that's right. And they would find a family. Look, I got. I'm, this was my 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 forefather did this back in the day. Yada yada yada. Right. This gives me authority. That's right. Ain't we saying that right now? Absolutely. Man. With Alizar? Yeah. So that's this exactly. is exactly what we're 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 living this out. That's right. Bro. So just imagine who we imagine. Right, we'd be bugging out. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, right. You say so so right. Yeah, I want to get that word. Uh, if I may, I want to get that word. Uh, two words, real quick. I want to get that word questions mm. and that word vain. Right. Mm. So that word questions in the Greek is zatasis, right? And that word question literally means it says a subject of questioning or debate. Debate. A matter of controversy. And that's what this causes. And then really. It's vain because we ain't under that Le- Levitical priesthood. That's right, that's right. And you're not sovereign. You ain't offering up no sacrifices. Yep. Maybe you killed a lamb for the Passover. Cool. Okay, cute. Mm. But that ain't giving you no forgiveness of sins. Right, right. You don't have a temple. You have no proof that you're of the lineage of Aaron. So when it all boils down to it, it's, it's empty. That's right. That's Why? Right. What are we talking about here? Go ahead. That's right. And that word vain in the Greek is, is mataios, or mataios, which means... It says devoid of force. Yeah. Truth. Devoid of force. It doesn't have really, it's no force because you, your ass is still in America. <laughs> like, okay, now you, 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 you're of the 
priesthood, priestly lineage of Aaron. Now what? Exactly. <laughs> like you said in your video, you said you said in your video, you said uh yeah, you over here boasting about the priesthood or whatever. I'm with, I'm with this order. Yeah, they shut down YouTube. It's like, man, yo, no, no, you got to turn YouTube back on. I'm on the lid. You're just like, man, you no. said your big ass yeah. head, your big yeah. ass head gonna get locked up. Right. Yeah, it's your ass you man. ain't gonna be able to do nothing. <laughs> like, what does it prove? At the end of the day, yeah, right. what can you do with your, but do what we do and go out and teach and do videos? Right. We all doing the same thing. Yeah. I would have preached the Aaron. I deserve to go into the highways. Right, right. They make that man that you can't go out. Right. <laughs> you know, I would, well, I would have preached the Aaron. Right. I deserve to go. Right. I'm supposed to teach this our is people. My right. This is my life. Right. 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 But, but we're, we're a spiritual priesthood offering up spiritual. Right. All of us. Not, and, 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 and let's say this. The sacrifice is not done away with. Right. It's just changed it's under Yahweh Shai's right. sacrifice. Now we offer up our bodies as a living sacrifice by going out preaching this word, right. teaching our people to come, and it's, it's it's a duty of a priest, but it's changed now. Yeah, all twelve tribes, but we commune with the heavenly Father through the Holy Spirit sent from the right hand side. Okay, and that's the mercy seat. Right. Mm -hmm. What you would have to do as a priest in the temple mm -hmm. to receive the, the, the at the mercy seat, you would commune. You know, now the heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, His high priest in the heavens, is sending you down the message. To go out and teach Israel. That's right. And that All proves, 12 tribes. Go ahead. That proves that the high priest, when he had to go before the mercy seat, he still had to humble himself before another, uh, before something else. Mm -hmm. Right. That would give him the answer. Right. Mm -hmm. I was right. thinking about that when I was right. driving. I was like, right. the high priest, Aaron. Right. All high Get priest. Leviticus 25 real quick. Okay. Right. Leviticus 25 real quick. And uh, we'll just read one square. We ain't got to go that far. But um, Exodus, okay. Leviticus 25. Uh, talking about the Lord said he communed with him at the mercy seat. The, the, cause this is as they're building that temple. They had the Ark of the Covenant. Or oh, is it Exodus? Is it Exodus? I think it's talking about uh, Exodus, where he talks about what, they, what like the making of the uh, Ark of the Covenant. It might be it. It might be it. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, yep. Yeah, you found it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Exodus twenty-five and twenty-two, and there I will meet with thee, and I will commune with thee from above the mercy seat, uh -huh. from between the two cherubims which are upon the ark of the testimony uh -huh. of all things which I will give thee in commandment mm -hmm. unto the children mm -hmm. of Israel. So there you go. The priest would have to go there to receive instruction. communion and instruction from the Most High, but it would be through the mercy seat, which was. At the Ark of the Covenant between two cherubims. That's your Howard shot, man. Mm -hmm. That angel that God at the middle of the wilderness. The angel that God. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So now we don't have that physical temple. When your Howard shot died, the 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 the, the uh, veil rent. That's that right. gives all twelve tribes that access. That's right. The elect mm -hmm. directly from the heavens to where we don't have to go that's to right. a physical temple. We're the temple. Right. I mean, do you get it? Yeah. And Levi. Is a priest just like Judah is a priest, just like Issachar is a priest. Mm -hmm. yep. All of them have that that authority to go out now and, and and receive a message from the Most High and do a video and tell Israel to get right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel eleven and sixteen. It says, "Therefore say, thus saith the Lord Yahweh: Although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them right. among the countries, mm -hmm. yet will I be unto them as a little sanctuary." Right. In the countries where they shall come. Right. And that when you go into that, that's a uh, example showing that in the lands that we were scattered at, which also points out the importance of Yahweh Shai's sacrifice. Right. You know, because with Yahweh Shai doing that, we've received knowledge of that mercy that the Sequan is going into. But going back into that, in these lands that we were held captive at, we all represent those sanctuaries where the glory of the Lord hovers over go. us. Yeah. And go. that's why Ezekiel saw that chariot in Ezekiel, the first chapter. Where it goes as to how he stood in front of the river Kabar, mm -hmm. which was a Babylonian river, which also represented captivity. You know what I'm saying? Drawing the Drawing water. The waters, right. You know what I'm saying? Being in front of that land, being in front of that river, that's where the glory of the Lord had appeared unto Ezekiel at, where he had re re received those revelations and such. Mm -hmm. And how we all represent that right now. It wasn't at the temple. You know? It wasn't at the temple because the glory of the Lord left the temple. Yeah. When you read about that in Ezekiel, because he never dwelt in temples made with hands Man, anyway. anyway. That was just an example. That was an example. Even, even when Yahweh was a baby, when that star appeared in the east, those three wise men saw that star move right over that manger where Yahweh was, who represents the temple, mm. and it hovered right over that to show you where the mercy lied at right there, mm -hmm. man. 
which is what we're at and what we're doing right now through the spirit, man. Yeah. It's not about the order of Aaron. It's about the order of Melchizedek. Right. You know? That was it in that precinct. Right. Maybe Aaron will have a nice little setup in the kingdom oh, where, you know, you know, I, I believe that, but but yes. it's still going to be under the order of Melchizedek. Right. That's right. I mean, <laughs> right. That's right. Right. Uh, read it again, Titus 3 and 9, but avoid foolish questions. Were you finished with the words you were going into? Yeah, kind of. Yep, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and striving about the law. For they're unprofitable in vain. You got to retire at 50, yada, yada, <laughs> yada. It, it causes strife. And, and we can continue. Well, do you got a virgin? Right. Do, 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 do. do you get head when she's on her period? It, 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 it continues. Right. Right. <laughs> it continues. It can continuously go on and on. It'll be like, oh, Lord. We'll be, it won't, we won't get anywhere. It won't stop. Everybody mm -hmm. A man that is a heretic after the first and second ammunition reject so, yeah. it's not hate so, yeah. after we've been tried to get you to understand it and you 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 rejected it and you you, you rejected it and then you Honestly never rejected it. hey after a while you get rejected man right a heretic is one who doesn't listen man right yeah, okay that word means schismatic schismatic like separatist. Separatist. Yeah, schism. that word that word schismatic means a separatist separatist so was always separating yeah, schism schism right. yeah. there you go Damn. what was the word against like schismatic yeah skeezer yeah right knowing that he that is such is subverted and senate being condemned of himself mm. that's it. we see that happening you, a lot of these guys, you just let them talk. That's that's all you need. You know, they, listen they, to what he condemns your own goddamn Absolutely. Stuff. When I shall send Artemis Straight up. unto thee, or Tychicus, be diligent to come unto me to Nicopolis. Nicopolis, for I have determined there to winter. Mm -hmm. Bring Zenos, the lawyer, and Apollos. All right, on their journeys, and these are men who are mentioned, but they have mighty works. But they, they have mighty they, works. They, they, they may just be mentioned. Yeah, yeah bro. And he might be among hard. you. And you may, you know, Fire, right, Fire, right. Fire. right. Up, bro. Brothers who have those small pages that don't get that many views, yeah. you may be one of these men. Absolutely. Who are very important to the church because there's men in the church who may not have the most famous pages, but their their duties amongst the brotherhood and their presence is, is, is a man straight up Eli like, yeah, go ahead bro. go ahead no you got it Elijah never had a book nor he listened right and right. Elijah is considered the, the greatest prophet right you know what I'm saying right. I always you know think about that you know he had right man. oh man yeah so much that we yeah oh, mm -hmm. man. straight up bro it says um, and let ours also learn to maintain good works for necessary uses that they be not unfruitful okay all that are within me salute thee Greet them that love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen. Mm. Man, so anybody else got anything? The whole book of Numbers. <laughs> you go to the whole Sorry, book of Philemon. Philemon. <laughs> <For me, for laughs> go into the, the whole book. Philemon and Mercy earlier. All right, all right, all right. Let's go into it now. All right, so hopefully y'all are edified, man. That was the book of Titus, man. We'll give all praise to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, And double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations unto the elect. Shalom. Shalom.